What's up YouTube? I'm Jeremiah Hersey, a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. And today we're going to be talking about hierarchies, how to create them, what to look for, especially when we're considering using date hierarchies and the time intelligence functions that is built inside of Power BI. So let's go ahead and take a look at our Power BI desktop and get started. So here we are inside of our Power BI desktop and I have some basic AdventureWorks DW um, information that you've seen in several different videos, but what I'm gonna focus in on specifically is the date table. So inside the date table right here, let me go ahead and expand this. And so inside the date table, you'll notice that we have this little calendar icon right here. So this little calendar icon is an indicator that time intelligence for this file are turned on. If I click the drop down arrow, you're going to see that there is a pre-created date hierarchy for me. Once again, this is done by default by Power BI. Anytime you have a column that has dates listed in it, if the auto date time is turned on, it will create a full range of dates for each one of those dates in that column. So best practice is if you're going to have a date table, then we need to make sure that we turn off this auto time intelligence. We'll create our own hierarchy here in just a second, but we want to make sure we turn off that auto time intelligence. So we're going to go up here to file and options and settings and into options. Now you can do this for the entire Power BI desktop, which is under the global data load which is right here, there's two different sections. So there is a global data load and then there is a current file data load. I'm gonna be doing it under the current file so that way it's just loc the auto time intelligence is turned off for this file, not my entire Power BI desktop. If you wanna turn it off for the entire Power BI desktop, that would be done under the global data load. So I'm gonna select the data load from the current file and what I'm focusing on turning off is this time intelligence, the auto date time. I'm gonna make sure that we turn that off and we're gonna click OK. Now watch what happens to my date column in the hierarchy that was created as soon as I turn this off. Notice that it goes away. So now this column is just represented by a list of dates. It is not using that auto time intelligence. But now that we've kind of gotten rid of our date hierarchy, so let's go ahead and create one for ourselves. Creating a hierarchy is super simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the highest level of our hierarchy. In this case, it's going to be year. So I'm gonna to go to my year column. I'm gonna right click on year, and I'm gonna to choose to create a hierarchy. Now the purpose of a hierarchy is to create a feature known as a drill down feature. And that drill down feature allows you to look at different levels of information within inside the same visual. So because it creates this drill down feature, I'm going to go ahead and rename this year hierarchy to my date drill down. To add additional columns into your hierarchy or your drill down, you're going to find the next level. So from year, I'm going to go to quarter. I'm going to right click on quarter and I'm going to choose to add it to my date drill down. I'm going to do the same thing for month. Go ahead and right click on month, add it to the date drill down. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and add the date as well. So by the time we're done, we're going to have the exact same thing that we saw before for our hierarchy. Here's our date drill down. And now we have year, quarter, month, and date. But once again, the benefit here is we're using our own date table. When you use the auto time intelligence, every time that you have a column with dates, it's going to create a full date table in the background. So let's say that you have five different tables and in each of those table there is a column with dates you're going to have five date tables in the background if time intelligence is turned on so that was the purpose of turning it off so that we have one date table and we can create that hierarchy inside of that date table 
All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this allows us to do. So I'm going to add this into a matrix. And I'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. All right, so notice that I now get the drill down feature. That's these buttons right here. That was the purpose of the hierarchy is to create this drill down feature. You also have the indicators, the plus and minus signs right here that you can expand and go different levels as well. So we can go down to the quarter level, 2005. We can also go down to the month level and we also can go down to the date level. To navigate up inside of our drill down, you're gonna use the up arrow. So this takes you to one level up in the hierarchy. So if you're at a day level, you're going to month, month to quarter, quarter back up to year. So we can look at something like sales amounts. Go ahead and drag in the sales amount here. And so the benefit is now we can look at sales from a year level, we can then break it down using the double down arrow is going to expand it down one level, but keep it in its respective years. So we can see it broke down individually by 2005, 2006 for the specific quarter. And so this is the, the purpose of using hierarchies is because they allow you to look at different levels uh, with inside the same visual. Now it's not just limited to dates. We can also create a hierarchy on a location as well. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna remove the date drill down now. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new hierarchy. So this time it's gonna be in my geography table. So in my geography table, notice that I have country, I have state, and I have city. So I can create a hierarchy that is based upon these three levels. All right, so same thing. We're gonna start at the highest level first. So I'm gonna start at country. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'm going to create a hierarchy. And I'm gonna rename this. This is gonna be my geography drill down. So remember a hierarchy, the purpose of a hierarchy is to create this drill down feature that allows us to navigate into different levels of information. All right, so I'm at a country level. The next thing is gonna be state. So I'm gonna right click on state and I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the geography drill down. And I'll do the same thing for city as well. I'll right click on city. We're gonna add it to the geography drill down. So now with inside of this geography drill down, I now can look at information on a country, state, or city level. So let's go ahead and add that into our matrix here so we can see what it does. Okay, so notice the first breakdown, I'm in Australia, that's at the country level. So I can use the plus icon if I wanna expand into Australia to see the different states or provinces within inside of Australia. And then with inside of South Australia, I can see the cities associated to it as well. So the purpose of these hierarchies is to create this drill down feature so that we can navigate at multiple levels with inside of the same visual. You can create a hierarchy on whatever you'd like. So uh, you could do it on product levels that you want inside the hierarchy. It just depends on what you're trying to show. Well, I want to thank you for joining me. Hopefully this helps give you an understanding of how we can look at more data or explore our data and really dive into deeper conversations with inside the same visual. So uh, if we're looking at a country level, we can go down to a state or a city level, or we can look at different quarters with inside of specific years. So it gives you a lot of functionality with inside of a single visual, and that's the benefit. So hierarchies, their purpose is to create that drill down feature. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you like our page and subscribe to our channel so that you can get more content. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.